Clients pay us upwards of 1,000, 1,500. So here's the hook. What you wanna do is you wanna go into Google, type in You guys loved our video so much about how to make money with Google Maps that I went out and found the leading expert anywhere on how to make thousands of dollars per day literally using Google Maps. I am Paul James, I'm another big YouTuber and a friend of mine, and we decided to bring him on and he is going to show you expert strategies of how to get paid a thousand dollars a month or more per client. And he's gonna show you literally how you can land your first client as soon as today. Hey, thanks so much, Kevin, for that intro. I'm super excited to be here today. Again, my name is Paul James. I'm here to teach you about Google Maps and what we've been doing, what my uh, subscribers and stuff have been doing with Google Maps, we've just absolutely been crushing it. And our clients, actually I'll show you a screenshot here. Our clients pay us upwards of 1,000, 1,500, 2,000, 500 sometimes just kind of depends on the competition of the niche and the cool part is is that you don't have to be like an SEO god to do this stuff That's what I really really love about it So I'm super excited that Kevin has me on the channel today so I could share this stuff with you guys And I've got the strategies that I'm gonna bring to you you can get started with this even if you're a beginner It's really really awesome. So before we jump into it, I want to first explain what Google Maps is so if you've ever gone and like searched for a dentist in your local area or maybe I stumbled across it by like looking for a pizza one day. This is a long time ago. And I was looking for a pizza and boom, up on the screen pops this map listings here. And you'll notice that it pops up above everything else. We call these below it, the organic listings. And uh, these are just like regular Google listings. But the maps listings, they pop up on pretty much every Google search for a local keyword. And the cool part is, is it stands out. You're already at the top of Google. You're already standing out. What ends up happening is just tons and tons of leads start coming in for this business owner when you place them there. So the reason why I like maps versus regular SEO is because it's so much easier. And the cool part is, is that you're not competing with all of these other SEO people on a national level because this is just for the local area that you target. So you're only competing against other local business owners. And guess what, guys? They're busy running their local business. They don't have time to do this stuff. So when you can master it and do it for them, that's why we're able to collect those $1,000 fees, those $2,000 fees that I was showing you earlier. So that's what we're gonna work on. We're gonna work on getting them ranked right here. And what happens when you start getting them ranked there is that as their rankings go up, their calls start going out the roof. Their phone starts ringing. So you can see this is stats from our call tracking account. You know, 700 calls, 514 calls, 731 calls. So that example that I showed you of the dentist, if I was able to get a dentist calls coming in like that, and these people are coming in for teeth cleaning, they're buying expensive x-rays. Some of them are going to need like $2,000 root canals. Do you think that they're going to be willing to pay you a thousand dollars to put them there to generate all those calls? Absolutely. And I'm going to share with you how you can land a client like that. Here's an example of a towing contractor that we work with and 1,619 calls. How crazy is that? So you can see that's why people are willing to pay that. And we even have clients all over the place. This is one that sent me money by Western uh, Union and just because they don't have PayPal or they didn't have access to it. I don't know if it's something over there in Sweden or what, but anyways, just really, really cool stuff. So here's the hook and this is what you wanna do. What you wanna do is you wanna go into Google, type in a keyword that you think you wanna go after. So like maybe you decide you wanna target the, the dentist industry or maybe you wanna go after chiropractors. Type that in and then type in city name and the state if you're in the United States. Again, works in any country. What you wanna do is you wanna scroll down here, click more places and we wanna look for a business owner. We wanna start clicking all of these listings that pop up, but we're looking for something really specific. So as I click, I'm gonna show you what that is when I find one, okay? Right here, see where this says own this business. What this means is that this dentist right here has not claimed their Google Maps listing. And you're probably wondering, well, why do they need to claim their listing? 
Well, this is why a business owner should claim their listing. Google have posted this all over their forums. They posted it for like their photographers, for their SEO people, that on July 28th, Google will begin shutting down those GMB associated Google Plus pages. Now GMB stands for Google My Business. That's basically the name of Google Maps that have not been associated with user accounts and that are also not verified. So that's what we are looking for. When you see that thing pop up right here that says own this business, that means that this company has not verified their business and that puts their listing at risk for removal. That means that they have a chance to not have those phone calls coming in anymore. So here's the way Google works. Google buys data of new businesses that are starting up all the time. Like I said, there's 550,000 new business owners starting up or new businesses starting up just in the United States alone, which is absolutely crazy when you think about it, right? So what Google does is they, they scrape all of that data, they buy it from a third party source and they create these listings for them just like this. And what happens is if they don't claim the listing, eventually Google will say, okay, well, maybe this business didn't last or maybe they're not in business anymore or you know, maybe their hours aren't right. You know, This one doesn't even have hours listed. So then they'll just take it away, they'll, they'll remove it. And then that business owner has the potential of losing out on all those business. They can't respond to bad reviews. So here is what you do, and this is key to landing a client like this because you can come in and add some goodwill right up front. You can simply send them an email if you want and say, hey, I noticed that your listing here is, is not been claimed, it's not been verified, and I can help you do it. Okay, so that is your foot in the door. And they might say, well, why would I wanna do that? And you explain to them because you're at risk for getting your listing removed. So if you want, this is cool, you could charge them just to do this alone. You could charge them 100 bucks just to help them claim this. And you might say, well, why would a business owner pay me to do that? Because number one, they don't know how. It's been like this now and they haven't done it. So they don't know how, they don't have the time. I mean, think about it like this. Everyone can go outside. I could go outside right now and I could cut my grass, right? And, and that would be fine. There's a lot of people who go out and do that. But there's also people who pay people to cut the grass for them. That's why landscaping businesses are, are in business, right? Because not everyone has makes the best use of their time going out and cutting their grass. So they'll hire people to do that. So these people are busy running their business and you can go out and do that for them and get your foot in the door. So it's really easy to do. You, you just click this link and it'll show you how to set it up on the next page. It'll have you confirm the name. It'll have you confirm the address of the business. It'll ask you, is this where you're located? You just go through it. It'll ask what's the best category that suits your business. It'll have you confirm your phone number, your website. And then all you have to do is click finish. And this is what's gonna happen. It's gonna have you verify the listing now. And if the business owner already has a phone number linked up, if it's already in there, like if Google was able to pull that data from somewhere, you can have them text it or call for them, or what you can do is you can click none of these options work for me, and you can have a postcard mailed out to their address, and that looks really legitimate. You know, a postcard comes in from the mail from Google. That builds a lot of trust for the business owner because they can see that you actually know what you're talking about, and you actually did what you said you were gonna do. So that's really cool. So I mean, if you wanted, you could literally stop there. You've already made like $100 minimum. You could even charge more than that for getting to this step. Or you could go to the next step, which is to try and help them rank in the three pack. So let's go back. So I'm back here. I typed in Dennis Waukesha, Wisconsin. What you could do is you could point out to them, hey, you know, Dentist Waukesha, Wisconsin gets 320 monthly searches. Can you see that on the top of my screen? The way that I'm showing this here is with a free Chrome extension called Keywords Everywhere. So it, it works for Firefox too. You literally go to keywordseverywhere.com and you install this plugin. And then whenever you do a Google search, it'll tell you how many people every single month are searching for that keyword. So after you help them get their listing claimed, you could say, look, there's 320 people that are out there every single month searching for you. And guess what? They're not coming to you. They're going to complete family dentistry or they're going to dental associates or they're going to you know Waukesha County Community Dental Clinic. All of these businesses are getting your business, your customers, 320 of them every single month just for this keyword. You know, and that's to say there's other keywords out there that are generating a lot too. So you can actually help them with that as well. And that could be something that you decide to upsell them. And 
Like I said, ranking in Google Maps, you don't have to be an SEO god to do it. If you go after low competition industries, you can get people ranked here um, in as little as two to three weeks and get them some awesome results, get their phone ringing. One thing that we like to do and what we usually start with is we'll go out there and we'll get them listed on other local directory sites. This is one of the things that will increase their ranking. So I want you to think of sites like Yelp, sites like Angie's List. And one of the ways that we look and find out what other local directory sites that they should actually be on, if you just go to Google and you do a uh, search for Moz Top Local Citations, they actually have a guide here where you can choose citations by category. So you can come down here and choose the type of business that they are. So here's dentist and it'll say, okay, you should go get them listed on Yelp, Yellow Pages, create a YouTube channel for them, a healthgrades.com account, super pages, Dex notes. So by creating these 10 accounts or so, what you're gonna do is you're gonna boost up their authority and in turn, it's most likely going to increase their ranking and get them showing up. Sometimes there's other things that can be done as well to get them ranking, but that's just one of the things that we like to start off doing and then we evaluate and see how they're doing from there. And guys, like I said, this is the reason why they're willing to pay us $1,500 a month or $2,000 a month or even $500 a month. Like that's one of our lower billings, but we do have some clients that pay us that. And the reason why guys is because their call volume as they start to rank in maps goes up and up and up. They get insane calls and then they send us money like this. So guys, what I'd like to do is I'd like to invite you to learn more about this entire thing. If you wanna learn more of my tricks, more of my secrets to this, like I said, I've been doing this for a long time and it's, it's just really awesome. I've got a lot of other students who are doing really well too. If you wanna attend a webinar just like Tom attended, uh, you can see here. So that trick from today's webinar just landed me a website building graphic design for $6,000 and a $1,700 a month SEO contract. So guys, if you want to attend something like that, I'm throwing a free masterclass. I told Kevin that I would do this for his subscribers and I'm really excited about it. So if you want to come and join me and we'll, we'll hop on together on this masterclass and break all this stuff down, you should see a link in the description of the video. So go check it out. I hope you got a lot of value out of this, but I'm really excited to bring even more value. This is just the tip of the iceberg. I've got a lot more to share with you. So definitely make sure you check out the link down in the description. Paul's gonna be putting on a completely free training for you guys um, if you want to learn more about how to make thousands of dollars per month ranking businesses using Google Maps. So definitely make sure you check it out. Or if you're interested in learning about other ways to make money on the internet, check out this video right here. And we're gonna be going over the four best passive income streams um, to start making money online in this video right here. So make sure you check it out. But first, before we talk about passive income, we have to define what passive income actually is. So a lot of people tell me, you know, 